Hi friends, Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life. This is my daily diary segment, which I bring you each and every day to keep you appraised of exactly what I'm doing, morning, noon, and night. And this is the segment for the uh, Wednesday, the 4th of August of 2021. So I started around 6 a.m. here at my desk, and uh, I was asked for a quote from a media outlet, which I typed up and sent, uh, arranging an interview with our friends that do rescues at abortion facilities, which I strongly support, always have supported, peacefully intervening to save these babies. So I'm going to be setting up uh, an interview on that soon. And uh, some staff items, of course, uh, keeping um, up on updates from staff and giving them guidance for their for their work and their projects. Then that brought me to 8.30 a.m. where we had our all staff briefing. And uh, this week we're having the meeting of our wider team. So we had even more people like Alveda King and, and uh, Kevin Burke and Brian Kemper, our youth outreach director and many others. Father Dennis, our associate director, all of them coming on for these meetings. Usually the daily briefing is with our local staff here at headquarters, but Again, every four to six weeks, we have these uh, the wider team meetings. And uh, right after the briefing, I had, uh, well, a, a couple of phone calls in between right afterwards, but then went into the TV studio and taped for Right Side Broadcasting Network my next episode of Praying for America. I hope you see that every night at 8 p.m. Eastern time on these channels. 9.15 to 9.45, 9.50, and then I got ready for the 10 a.m. televised Mass and broadcasted that Mass. As soon as the Mass was over, I hopped into a meeting of our pastoral team. Again, people like Alveda King, Father Wild, uh, the Burks of, of Rachel's Vineyard, uh, Janet Morana, and others. And we spent um, uh, an hour going over what we do is we receive from different staff departments an update on the effectiveness of our outreach. So we hear from the website department, we hear from the social media department, we hear from the resource department, which sends you the books and the pamphlets that you order. Uh, we hear from um, uh, uh, various other members of our team and we all update one another. So uh, then we had that meeting and then I had uh, a quick lunch and uh, oh at the meeting one of the things we did was we went over the various domains that we have you know we have and abortion.us is our main website but we have literally hundreds it's, it's about up about 800 web addresses all of them active uh, and 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 what many of them do is they they point to pages on our website for ease of access so for example if i, I want to tell you where to find pro-life prayers you can go to ProLifePrayers.com and you'll see what I mean. So we have like 800 of these different pro-life, all pro-life website domains. We went over the, some of these more common ones with the team to make sure that they have committed them to memory so that we can guide people like you. If we're on the radio, if we're in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, if we're answering a letter, if we're out on a trip. Then uh, lunch, uh, as I said, and then we had um, a, a one o'clock meeting of uh, our executive director together with Kevin uh, Burke of Rachel's Vineyard, an update meeting. Then uh, with our executive director, with our travel coordinator, go over trip plans and invitations for some of my upcoming trips. Then I had to give some approvals to different uh, newsletters, publications, and appeal letters that are going out from Priests for Life. Right after that, we had uh, an all staff meeting. This was at three o'clock. And again, we take this time, not just the pastoral team, but the pastoral team and the whole staff, both those that work here and those that work in the various other cities where we have offices. And we had an hour long meeting of uh, updating. We gave them some good news, which we'll be releasing to you more formally in the days to come, that our mortgage is all paid off for our headquarters here. We moved in here uh, five years ago, we bought the building. And now uh, it is completely ours, uh, not because uh, of uh, any uh, great amount of money that we have, but rather uh, because of the wisdom and the frugality with which our team is able to manage the money. And uh, we have now complete ownership of this building and no more mortgage payments. Um, then we had, right after that meeting, uh, again, our executive director and I met with our youth outreach director, Brian Kemper. We made some 
Exciting plans, including plans for January, for National Pro-Life T-Shirt Day, and, and for many other things that are coming down the pike. Uh, that was a 415 meeting. Then at 445, I had a meeting with our data team that lasted uh, almost an hour. And uh, uh, we, are, we are planning some very important uh, uh, upgrades whereby we're going to get a lot of we're going to be able to get a lot of demographic information publicly available information about uh, people who uh, are, are on our list so that we can better serve them and uh, send them things that are of interest and then uh, I met with our uh, chief technology officer after that for the end of day update on various things had a quick dinner and then um, uh, did some reading to continue to, uh, as part of my own ongoing need for study and reading and updating, spent some time in the evening reading uh, before going to bed. So that was my agenda on the Wednesday, the August the 4th of 2021. Uh, I uh, enjoy doing these updates for you. Uh, I personally, I would love to see every priest and every leader of every ministry uh, give uh, a nice full update each day of uh, what they uh, have been doing. And uh, because it encourages us to say, hey, this ministry that I support, uh, they are moving along at high speed and uh, high activity and getting things done uh, for the mission. So we'll be back with more of these updates. Meanwhile, be assured of my prayers. Father Frank Pavone here of Priests for Life.